Uh, one thing that we do uh, are, in addition to kind of those basic graphs um, and dashboards, are notebooks. So notebooks are a way of creating ad hoc queries on your metric data. In this case, we're looking at HTTP metrics. We're making some quite complicated queries. So this is using the Prometheus query language. This is an open source, well-defined query language. If you've used Prometheus, you're, you're familiar with this. If you haven't, um, there's a little bit of complexity there, but really it's a great tool to kind of query your metrics. Um, and we're, we're using the, just a vanilla open source version. It's completely compatible, so there's no issues here. What we do have, um, is some phenomenal autocomplete uh, compared to a lot of tools. So for example, we have autocomplete on the metric names. So those are the names of the metrics. We also have autocomplete on the metadata. So those are the keys in the metadata as well as the values in the metadata, which lets us create graphs and query our data very quickly. I mean, I'm not quite sure what this uh, graph, um, that's a very relevant graph, but the idea here is that you've got some um, good tools, got some auto-completion to do exploration of your data and of your cluster. So uh, these notebooks are great for a couple of uh, particular use cases. One use case is because they can be uh, set to a particular time, so you'll see in the URL there's a timestamp. These make great tools to do analysis of incidents. Um, so if you have an incident, what you can do is create a notebook, name the they. so I'll, I'll go through the process. So create a new notebook, give it a name of um, incident notebook, um, maybe give it the name of the, uh, the ticket that you're gonna be creating for the incident. Then you can start adding a query, for example, uh, save my notebook, uh, and then uh, because it's timestamp here, I can copy and paste this URL and add it to my ticket tracking system so that I can collaboratively start understanding the, um, the incident with the rest of my team. Um, I am not sure. Um, so that, that's um, one thing that you can do. Uh, in addition, what you can do is add some text. Um, so the text is a way of adding additional information um, to the notebook. So here I can add some markdown text. So let me uh, show you what that's like. So if I had a title and maybe some items, uh, you can see I, I can add some markdown information. Uh, and this is great uh, for, for example, when you're debugging, when you're doing incident management, it's great to add additional information and context. But one way of uh, using those notebooks that's not to do incident management is to create run books uh, or playbooks. Those are basically your engineering guides that the on-call engineer uh, responsible for running the system uses um, proactively to manage the system. And what's really great about this is you can, usually these guides are static document. You might have a Google Doc, you might have a wiki, whatever the appropriate format is for your company. But if you use this format, what's really fantastic is you can have the graph um, being live uh, in the context of all the instructions for the engineer. Uh, so that's a really great way of creating run books. Uh, you can add, say, an image, <coughs> excuse me, to compare the graphs to, etc. So it's a really great way of creating a document that helps your on-call engineer, your operations engineers, or, or your DevOps engineer, uh, understand the system uh, and uh, understand how their their actions are going to affect the system. Uh, so there's a lot of adding the live uh, data in the context of the playbook or the runbook is very valuable as well. So let me delete this, uh, this notebook that I've just created for this demo.